It goes back to our ancestors way back when they chose this area to live during what they call the Treaty Era. And it was chosen for what we call Damanba. Damanba means our water. And with water is our, our life. The Shoshone Bannock tribe is a, a, a pairing of many bands of, of people. The Shoshone people and the Bannock people. The Snake River is really an important feature to uh, our people. It holds the sacred water that we depend on. All this area used to be able to do what they call sagebrush. And the sagebrush is something that we use for medicinal purposes. But when agriculture came and, and people started farming the land, they wanted, you know, potatoes, they wanted alfalfa, wheat. I call it the termination era when they wanted us to be farmers rather than hunters and fishermen. When the agricultural expansion happens on and off reservation, when people start draining water to water their farm fields, we're actually seeing reduced flows out of our springs. You kind of see the vegetation changing, the streams are changing. Uh, it seems like there's more moss and, and not as much wildlife. The climate is changing and we're not prepared at this moment and we need to get prepared and soon. It's pretty important to understand and uh, be educated how we may have to live with climate change. This, these are the things we can do now. These are the things mm -hmm. it's going to take us a couple years to get going on, but we can start now on going on planning for that. And these are the like big long-term goals that we aspire. Mm -hmm. And they may to. even fold over into the next plan. Sure. Mm -hmm. We start thinking about not just one resource, but all resources and, and how those cycles kind of work together. We're going to have to start looking at some new factors that maybe we haven't been looking at and we should have been looking at the whole time. I've, I cherish my reservation just because that's where my family is and all of my family. So when I think about my position here, I think about uh, managing in a way that they have something in the future to manage themselves and that we just don't mess it up. What we call Deniwa, those things are what from the old people passed on to us to take care of for the future of our kids, for the future of uh, our plants, our the water, and so forth. We're, you know, we're faced with this 